So our today's topic is about that how we can convert a spectacles prescription into contact lens prescription, right? So suppose a patient visits your clinic with a prescription of plus five spherical, and now he demands or she demands a contact lens prescription. Then being a good optometrist, you have to prescribe accurate and precise prescription in contact lenses. So for example, uh, this is a formula actually. You can see spectacles prescription over 1 minus bag vertex distance BVD into spectacles prescription. So this is the formula and with the help of this formula, we can convert a spectacles prescription into accurate and precise contact lens prescription, right? So for example, the spectacles prescription of the patient is in spectacles is plus 5 spherical for example and back vertex distance you know very well we have a detailed video on back vertex distance so the back vertex distance is actually the distance between the anterior surface of the cornea and the posterior surface of the spectacles lens so that distance between the cornea and the spectacle lens is called the back vertex distance right and you have to be very careful careful uh, in case of back vertex dis distance when you are dealing with high prescription like if you are dealing with uh, more than 5 more than minus 5 or more than plus 5 uh, spherical then you have to be very careful in the case of back vertex distance so this back vertex distance can manipulate your prescription right so in this case we have a spherical plus 5.00 spherical correction in spectacles and now we will convert this spectacles prescription into precise contact lens prescription so let's put the values so our spectacles prescription is plus 5 and now 1 minus back vertex distance so you have to measure the back vertex distance and for example our back vertex distance is 14 millimeter right so our back vertex distance is 14 millimeter but remember this is important if you want to put the value of back vertex distance in this formula the unit of the back vertex distance should be in meter not in millimeter right here the unit is in millimeter 14 millimeter but when you will put back vertex distance value in this formula you have to convert millimeter into meter so if we convert 14 millimeter into meter the value would be 0.014 right so now this is the back vertex distance in unit of meter right so 1 minus bvd 1 minus bvd again into spectacles prescription and that is plus 5 right so let's solve so 0 0.014 into plus 5 and the answer would be 0 0.07 right and now again plus 5 and now 1 minus 0 0.07 and the answer would be 0. 0 0.93 0 0.93 actually yes and finally if we divide plus 5 to 0 0.93 the answer would be 5.37 so 5.37 is not available in your trial box or in contact lens prescription so we can make it 5.50 it's a fairical. So plus 5.50 is actually the precise contact lens prescription. So we conclude that if the spherical is in plus 5 in spectacle correction and if you want to prescribe a contact lens prescription, so contact lens prescription would be 5.50 which is actually more than the spectacle correction. So we conclude if our spectacle correction is in plus, right, spectacles correction is in plus then the resultant contact lens prescri prescription will be more than the spectacle right as we have plus 5 in spectacles 
and plus 5.50 in contact lens prescription. So for example, minus 6.00 spherical is our spherical correction in spectacles, right? And now we have to convert this spherical correction into contact lens prescription, right? So we will put the values. Our spectacle correction is now in minus 6, 1 minus back vertex distance. So back vertex distance, again, 14 millimeter, you can uh, change it. Uh, depends upon the patient, right? So again, our back vertex distance was 14 millimeter and when we convert it into meter it would be 0 0.014 meter and again into spectacles prescription which is minus 6 so let's solve so when we multiply 0 0.014 with minus 6 the answer would be 0 0.084 but in minus right because our spherical correction is in minus so when we multiply these two values the resultant answer will be in minus so so now we will again solve it and you know very well we have two sign of the minus 1 minus is with the 1 and 1 minus sign is with 0 0.084 and minus and minus will be plus. So we will add these two values and when we will add 1 and 0 0.084 the answer would be 1.084 right and now we will divide 0 1.084 with 6 and the answer would be minus 5.53 so we can write it as minus 5.50 so now this minus 5.50 is our spherical correction in contact lenses right and you can see again our spectacle correction was in minus 6 right and in contact lens it's 5.50 which is actually less than the spectacle correction so we conclude if our spectacle correction is in minus then the contact lens prescription will be less than the spectacle correction and if our spectacle correction is in plus right then the contact lens prescription will be more than the spectacle correction hope this is clear in the very next video we will discuss about that how we can convert a toric spectacle prescription into contact lens prescription